LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Alright, so this is how to insert your key onto your keyboard. We're going to do the regular size key first, so we're going to use the H for that. This is the H section, and you can see that um, there's a rubber cup in the middle, and then two large hooks at the bottom corners. Above those, there's two large loops, and then two really small hooks over here at the top, and two dots over here. Uh, so these. Um, all those pieces that I just mentioned can bend down flat onto the uh, keyboard, so you have to make sure uh, all six hooks are standing up, you know, like um, vertically. So, yeah, you can just get a knife or a blade and just bend them in order for them to be straight vertically again. Now, uh, th these can change position sometimes those two dots uh, they can be at the bottom or maybe even to the side so you have to look carefully at your different keys now we're going to determine the position for the hinges and we're going to start out with this piece you can see that in the middle there's pins on it and at the top corner there's two really small pins also now make sure not to put this upside down like that because even though it looks the same, it won't work. So you have to feel the uh, bottom bar here. If it's one smooth piece from side to side, then that faces away from the keyboard. But if you feel that um, there's a gap in the middle, that faces and touches the keyboard. So that's the right position for this piece. What you want to do is put it down in the right position for now and get the next piece, which is this. Now this piece has uh, two pins at the bottom corners and also it has two holes in the middle. So those holes in the middle are going to uh, wrap around the metal pins that are on this piece. Now make sure not to put this piece upside down like this because again it'll look the same but it won't work. So what you have to do is look for the middle, uh, I mean feel the middle top bar here. If uh, you feel there's a gap in, in the middle, that faces away from the keyboard. If you feel uh, it's one smooth piece from top from side to side, that faces and touches the keyboard. So go ahead and put those pins onto the holes that are on the middle of the large piece and that's how uh, everything should look so far. Now you put that in the right position and you get this piece. You can see this piece has a hole at the top. So that um, that hole that's at the top uh, is going to also determine the position for it. Now, you don't want to put this upside down like that. So in the center of this piece, there's an X. If you can see that X, it should be facing the keyboard. Now, we have to put the bottom bar, or the bottom part of this uh, really thin hinge, we have to put it underneath the bottom bar that's over here. And you can see it has a little bit of a cave or a, f a fitting there, so put this piece right through the middle and then make it wrap around the bottom bar just like that. Now you want to lay it down 
and click the top side of it onto the vertical bar that's up there. So you click all three pieces together to make one. Now you uh, want to put, remember the two dots are up there so the hole that was in this case at the top has to go accordingly to those two holes. If those, I mean pins or dots, if those two dots were down here then you have to flip this over that way but in this case it's like that so you want to put these two bottom pins um, right on top of the very bottom uh, pins there so or hooks I should say put it right over and then lay down the uh, entire hinge set flat on the keyboard now you want to slide it downward in order for those pins to go underneath the hooks and that's pretty much it once you have everything underneath those hooks you get your keycap you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides and that's it for the regular size key now let's do the large key which we're going to use an enter for and it's the same hinges so we're going to assume you already have those in there but there's uh, two more fittings one to the very left and one to the very right again make sure those are vertically and standing up uh, so they're not flat on the keyboard now a difference here is the keycap has a metal wire behind it so we're gonna determine the position for the keycap which is like this and then don't flip it over this way we're gonna flip it over this way and you can see that there's fittings at the very very bottom here there's one over here one over here one over here and the last one over here but there's two larger ones in the middle and two larger ones at the top. Don't worry about those for now. Those are for the hinges. The ones, the smaller ones that are at the very, very bottom are for this metal wire. So you, it, each one of those fittings has two uh, little pins, one at the bottom and one at the top. So this wire goes right in between those two fittings. Now, just put it in the center and uh, push down on it until you hear or feel a click then you want to open up the wire like this and turn your key on to the right position which says enter like that now flip it over like this so you can actually see the wire we're going to put the wires around and underneath those two hooks that are on the keyboard so just like that then you flip your keycap over and click it onto the hinges like that and that's it Okay, now the space bar. Um, again, it's the same procedure. You just put your hinges in. You put the wire uh, at the bottom part of the hinge, or the keycap, I should say. Open up the wire. Um, put the wire underneath those metal hooks that are on the keyboard itself. Uh, let's see. I'm to... Right, got it. Now put those wires underneath the hook. And finally click it onto the hinges. And that's it. Laptopkey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.